it was inevitable that you would get a steady increase every year of, of um, delegates coming to this particular meeting. Um, because for lots of reasons, it's, it's one of the only really, truly multidisciplinary team meetings that, that exists. My highlights would be talking at 18, uh, seeing some of the international speakers that are coming to this meeting, but also the collaborations, hearing what other people's research is, uh, is, is going on, and coming up with ideas for new research to take forward for our patients. The other things that have really excited me about BTOG is that, as always, BTOG is one of these meetings where you have a full representation from all the disciplines and what really always excites me about BTOG is the fact that you get, you've get you got so much clinical engagement and enthusiasm across all specialties. Also people learn about areas that are not in their mainstream. The multi-professional nature of, of the, the conference is a really good one. It allows you to actually network with people who are delivering services across the country so you can see you know how they've overcome problems that you've got and you can show them how you've overcome problems it's a really good place to network and, and see about actual service delivery rather than just the theory of treating cancer the actual you know nuts and bolts of delivering treatment the highlight of BTOG 2018 is definitely the coming together of all the people and professionals that look after patients with lung cancer and mesothelioma um, so a lot of other conferences you have you know just one speciality and so you don't get an overall view of the, uh, the pressures and the op uh, opportunities uh, along the whole patient pathway. And so the fact that you've got oncologists, for spiritual physicians, nurses, um, scientists, academics here is fantastic. Do you know, for me personally, the highlight has just been engaging with my community. This is a fantastic meeting, you know, um, people from all across the UK coming together, not just doctors, not just scientists, but nurses, you know, allied professions actually coming together and pharma as well. And I think it's within that sort of mix that we have the opportunities to really you know, push forward what we're trying to do in the UK for patients.